Like many who were getting into photography in the first half of the 20th century, Ernie's Withers first camera was a Kodak Browning. His sister had bought it for her boyfriend. He didn't want the camera. Ernest asked her if she would give it to him, and she did. Dr. Withers captured almost two million images, documenting the history of our nation. This broad archive is unparalleled in American art. Withers was present for the trial of one of the most famous lynchings in American history, that of Emmett Till. Eventually, Roy Bryant and J.W. Milam were put on trial for the murder of Emmett Till. Till's uncle, Mose Wright, made history by pointing out Milam as definitely one of the men who took Emmett away that night. It was considered suicide for an African American to testify against a white person in the courtroom during that time. Prior to the trial, the judge made it clear no photographs should be taken inside the courtroom. Withers knew the historic nature of this moment, however, and shot a frame from the hip of Wright standing up from the witness chair to point out Milam. Lynchings are not a matter of the past. If a lynching is an extrajudicial murder of someone, usually in a painful way and public setting, was not the strangling of Eric Gardner in the middle of a crowded New York street a lynching? I think it's really not that far-fetched at all to argue that people like George Floyd, who had a police officer's knee on his neck on the asphalt um, before he died of asphyxiation, um, to say that he was lynched. You know, he, regardless of whether or not he committed the crimes that the police officer suspected him of committing, it is not the police officer's duty to um, dole out punishment for that. You know, he should have been given a fair trial. And similarly, well, they didn't drag George Floyd behind a, a car or wrap him in barbed wire. Um, I think it's safe to say that po that police officer would not have treated a white person who had supposedly committed the crime in the same manner. I think the police officer would have been happy to cuff the person, and throw them in the back of the police car, would not made him lie on the ground and put his knee on his neck. Knowing that this history it's not only African-American history, but it's American history. And to see what a race of people went through and struggled and to be captured through the lens of Dr. Ernest E. Withers, it can only not touch you. I mean, how can no one be touched by this? 